I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making, you know, and nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Do, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. Boys, I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. every election. So now, because they can't beat me, they got to do this smear campaign to convince public opinion that I'm bad for them. So you said two elections. You were first elected in 2021? No, 2013 was my first election for trustee. I was a trustee. trustee. I sat where they are. Right. That's uh, why uh, I know the law. Council. Yes. Elected mayor 2021. Yes. Term is four years? Yes. Okay. Uh, plans of running for re-election? I'm running for both my seats. And yeah. I'm going to win them. So, and when is the election for Thornton Town? 2025. So those elections at the same time? They are. Bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit? Okay, next. A bullshit? A bullshit? Hi, and we're going to have our very own township tax assessor, um, Cassandra Hobart, so that she can come and actually assist the residents with appealing the taxes. So residents, come out, come out. Um, Make sure you can always find our updates on our Don YouTube, um, Don Trustee page, or our Facebook Don Trustee page. Um, again, I thank you all. If you are having a trunk party, contact me for all the people that would like to sponsor. Contact me, and um, I love you all. This is this too shall pass. Thank you. All right. Is there anyone else? Yes. All right. Go ahead. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, first off, I would like to say uh, we did a community initiative for a community garage. Uh, sale with the Dalton Park District on um, Saturday, which was a great event, and hopefully uh, we'll be able to do another one in September. Um, it's all about working together. Um, as Trustee Norwood said, we see what's going on, and we appreciate everyone that is helping and supporting um, us. What I can say at all of this foolishness is that it has brought the community together. And I say that because people that haven't even thought about politics come and watch, and it's not a show, but they're involved to see what's actually going on with their tax dollars. Um, the sad part is we can't even get a business in here because of the fact of what's going on. Um, no reputable business will want to come to our town because of the foolishness that's happening. Um, I would address and say that Please immediately follow in this meeting. Remain in your seat because we have a special board meeting. Why we have a special board meeting? Because we sent agenda items in to be placed on this agenda as a regular meeting, which we have the ability to do that, and they were removed. These are items that we have. Um, we have the ability, because we're trustees, we can do that. And for someone to continue to monitor, remove, and take off our items, it's a slap in the face. Yes, she is the chairperson, but it is the Village of Dalton Board of Trustees meeting. So as long as we have a quorum, we can have a special meeting here. It's a shame that we even have to go through this. If our items was placed on the agenda, we would go through the meeting and continue on and have go about our way. But because of someone wanted to be a self-servant and not a public servant, these are the things that we're encountering. It's sad, and yes, she said clickbait. It's, it's a shame that probably from now until she go to jail, we'll be looking at uh, camera people in here. We shouldn't be on TV every first Monday about what's going on in the village of Dalton. It's embarrassing. It's very embarrassing. But at the same time, the same person creates all this chaos. 
are y'all not going to the Thornton meetings? Y'all see the same thing happening over there and it's not the same people. So who is the common denominator? Who is the, real, who is the person that's really creating the chaos? So when people ask, you have absolutely the right to ask about your money because it's your money. You work hard for it, so you have the ability to ask about it. So when people going out of town, when people paying for stuff, when I'm shaking a hand to make a deal and not running it past the appropriate people that's supposed to approve it, then you should ask and you should hold those people accountable. Have a great day. All right. I actually contacted the village administrator today and thank you so much, Keith Freeman, for responding back to me. Um, but the Moscow designs that's on there um, for $65,000 was bought up before and um, Tanjanique Miller has stated that it was paid for already. So I'm kind of confused because we still cannot get back in my viewpoint, but just trying to find out if um, she said on record it was paid for, why is it still coming back up on the warrant list? Um, I don't have that exact information for you right now, but I'll get it. If you send it to me in email, I'll respond to you. Okay. Um, I just feel that we go through this every month and with everything going on, the it comes to the power where we get to finances and the finance people, not even here, to never answer the questions. Um, the village administrator did read off some numbers earlier, but it would be great if we had it in writing. We've been asking for financial records since September, and here it is that um, it's June and we still don't have it. We go to court about it. We're even getting sued by a TV station because somebody says for you, I am talking about the agenda because the agenda was financial information that they requested and you guys, FOIA, whoever the FOIA officer is, refused to give them the information. So there is the agenda because we're talking about money, money that we cannot continue to keep getting lawsuits because of people not doing their job. So it, it is directly in the discussion of what we're talking about. So as I was saying, um, I just find that that's very difficult that um, when we do ask questions, and I'm grateful for the response that was given today, but I, I'm strictly concerned about the $65,000 that um, my Scott the Sounds wants, um, and the um, Tanjanique Miller stated that it had been paid for in cash. I'm done. You heard me. All right. As always, people say whatever they want to hear, but my question is... Melanie Fitness Center registered. $1,244.32 for total corporate payments, $3,822,919.59. Their motion to accept the bills is read. Um, I have an amended motion again, Mayor. Okay. Okay, so my amended motion is to accept the bills as read with the following exceptions. Uh, removal of the Ogata Law Group uh, with the exception. So the only only invoices to pay are invoice number 28861-31919, 3373 Three three nine eight eight, three four four one five, and three four five six eight. These are payments in the in the capacity of village prosecutor. So want those paid. All other bills removed. Additionally, remove existing concrete fourteen thousand one hundred twenty three dollars. Five star one hundred twenty two thousand three hundred twenty five dollars. John's Pro Tree Service one hundred fifty five thousand dollars. Even K N M Ventures one hundred eighty three thousand nine hundred fifty dollars. Lopez Lawn Maintenance ten thousand fifty dollars. Mosca Design sixty five thousand seven hundred dollars. Pekarski and Sons, $32,360. Raul, Raul and Sons, $181,950. And White Co. Pool Solutions, $34,788.58. My amended motion is to um, approve the bills with the exceptions listed. Second. All right. Um, any discussion? Yes. Right. Okay. Um, I have some concerns, and hopefully I'll get some answers. Um, first off, have we received the $6.8 million? Keep, keep going on your questions. Are you going to answer? Keep going okay. because they so, got nothing to do with the bills. So that, that's, 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 that's grant money that was already, but okay. So everybody would know that that's the answer because it's not being answered. But on May 3rd, uh, we received the email from Bert, Costanza, and Carberry, which says that uh, we owe them $4,501.27. They've been requesting this since August 23rd, uh, August 28th, 2023. Um, we once again get here. Um, I don't recall them being on the warrant list. So there's an issue that we pick and choose who we're putting on the warrant list and we're not putting on the warrant list. What really drew my concern was that um, someone sent us an email and then we actually spoke to this person on the phone. And the email reads, thanks for your call this morning. Per our conversation, see the attach. Uh, this engineering firm was hired and has a proposal signed by Mr. Freeman. Uh, his invoice number is 1092. 
he is saying that we owe him $7,482. So, of course, I asked, what was it in reference to? He said that Mr. Freeman contacted him with the help of Ron Smith, who was the engineer, saying that they needed a proposal for 15022 Lincoln. Now, I'm concerned because 15022 Lincoln is not a property to my knowledge. So why would we be paying a bill for $7,482? I do know that as being a village that we do have to go through proper protocols and we don't have certified people to do this. But after reading, it says my email to the engineer on record on 11-21-2023 indicate my findings and concern with the request for missing information or corrected drawings to be sent. A letter of our architect indicate numerous deficient items I highlighted, I highlighted for some of your review. The letter of our mechanical engineer indicating deficiency in items for your review. Again, we strongly recommend the construction stop immediately until such time these items are addressed by our architect on record. Now, I'm concerned because the man keep calling about his money and it's never been on the warrant list, but I'm more concerned that that beautiful big building at 15022 is not structurally sound because there's a 12-page report that says there are all these issues. So my question, and this is discussion, is somebody please call this man about his $7,000, which I don't understand why the owner would not be paying for this. And then what are we doing in reference to all of these? Has anybody followed up about all of these concerns about that property? Thank you for your concern. Anything else? <laughs> Anything else? Yeah, yeah. On someone's desk. Whose desk? Thank you for your concern. Anything else? <laughs> Anything else? Yeah, y'all got the answer right there, so y'all know what's going on. All right. Anything else? Yes. All right. All right. Go ahead. Um. Well, when we discuss the bills, um, I just heard you mention a, a few things earlier, and I, I think that even though we've been saying this for months, um, since you'll continue to say what you're going to say, I'm. A, I guess I should continue to tell the residents the truth. Um, when we talk about our financial state, it's sad. You know, the things that I could tell you would scare you as a resident in regards to the things that the people who are over the day-to-day -day operation, the decisions that they make, the, the fact that they do not prioritize this spending, and then they come up here and say, hey, vote for this, vote for that. I found it quite interesting that we have our mayor that just sat up here and said, oh, um, do you want receipts for the taxes? I'll put it on Snapchat. I found that particularly interesting considering that we've been asking for financials for months. Put that on Snapchat for us, please. You, we have $4 million in checks that the board have approved that have not been dispersed. The checks are on someone's desk. Whose desk? We do not know. So when we, are, when we continue to act for financials, when we make decisions, it's just responsible. You know, we were elected to do a job and that's what we're here to do. We keep saying, hey, this spending is getting out of control. We've been saying that for months. You have Trustee Belcher just set up here and asked, hey, if we're making decisions on voting for the bills, uh, could someone tell us about the $6.8 million grant? We didn't receive an answer. But yet we're told that we're, the bag is being here. The bag is present, but the bag is empty, guys. It's empty. We have, she, she stated, the public works. For months, Trustee House has been stating, hey, you know, we, we have to watch our spending. We have to prioritize the spending because we know that pay arts are due for public works and police. It's coming. It's coming. You have an administration that set up here months ago and said, oh, in April, we're going to make sure that you all are reimbursed because you all do such a great job for the village. And we want to make sure that we take great care of you because we love you so much. But yet, I'm receiving calls saying that they've only received one third of their money. So either we have the money or we do not. And it's extremely important that we realize that we do not have the money. If, and in regards to the financials, if we had the money and if they were providing us, because they just say, oh, well, they, we provide you with the financials, or they say we don't, and how do they know that we're in a deficit? Well, if we were provided with the information, there would be no reason for those people to be coming at our, to our door requesting the information that they've already mysteriously provided us with. So I'm going to say, when we make financial decisions, it's not to sit here and argue, it's not to go back and forth but it is to let the residents know that we don't have it. All of these services that you all need, we have to have some money to be able to provide you with those services. And it would just be totally irresponsible for us to continue to vote for things, negligent things. And yet we have not, we don't even know the village's financial true state. We just know it's $4 million on someone's desk. So thank you residents. Um, I, I hope that you have the information that you have been asking for in, in regards to where's the information. 
where are we going with this? Why, why are they not approving these items? Thank you. That's funny that now it's four million. Y'all said it was seven million. I told you your math ain't math. She said it was four million dollars worth of checks. Let, Thank let you. me answer. She don't answer. She can't I'm read. Respond if you want to hear my answer, as it relates to the stuff that the invoice that you're referencing, you're voting on it tonight. The other invoice that they pay in cash, we have um, receipts for that as well. So we're not not paying the vendor. If you all vote on it tonight, they will be paid. It is already on the warrant list. I need to be recognized. Yep. Go ahead. <laughs> So the, the point of the matter is this, we do not have the receipts and we do not have the documentation. You know, it, it baffles me how many you sit here and you say, well, I got the receipts. Well, please, she just read the receipts. Like I stated, we do not have the receipts. We do not have, we have not received financial statements showing where we are as a village since September. We have a jumbotron right here that we use for everything else. If we have, show us on the jumbotron so us and the rest of America can see where you all sent the trustees the financial statements, the credit card statements. We have not received credit card statements since last year around this time. At one point, when Trustee Belcher asked for them, the director, Ted Janique, stated we cut the credit card off. Trustee Belcher said, okay, can you just show us where we cut the credit card off? We still haven't received any proof showing that we cut the credit card statements off. Here's the jumbotron, show it to us, where you sent it to the trustees, showing us proof where we cut off the credit card statements. I find it strange that the credit card is supposed to be cut off, but yet every month we're sitting here and we're voting on a credit card statement. Seems ridiculous how we vote on a credit card statement when there is no credit card. Again, RFPs, they continue to say, oh, well, they do the work, they do the work, pay the people. If they wanted these people to be paid, one, they'll pay them like they do everybody else. They don't wait on us, typically, so they shouldn't start waiting today. That's one. Then secondly, if we want them to get paid, let's be transparent. We all here, let's, what's the problem with RFPs? We've been asking for RFPs since the start. Bring the people up here and let them bid for the jobs so we know what work is being done and how much we're paying for the work. Again, we continue to be silent. You sit up here and say, well, we can and cannot say. The fact of the matter is we all just want the paperwork. We don't want to sit here and be belittled by the staff with the things that you didn't prep them to say before the meet. We're really sick of that. All we really want is the receipt. Send it to us. Put it on the website. We don't even have to keep discussing it. Put it on the website so every resident in here can see the receipts. America, ask this lady and the administration for receipts. Provide them to us so and stop expecting us to vote on things that we cannot see. Nobody, no smart person with intelligence vote on something that they cannot see, like the blind leading the blind. That's what will not happen. So I'm going to say again, again, I'm going to say, if we are provided with the receipts, residents, we are provided with bids, we won't keep having this dog and pony show that they keep creating. We'd be able to revolt what we came here to do. We came here for the business. Residents are ready to go home. Again, provide us with the receipts, provide us with the RFPs, and let's pay the people that we owe first before continuously mismanaging the money and making bills. We're not paying the lights, but they're paying for first-class flights. Make it make sense. Thank you. Madam Mayor, may we recognize? All right. Ooh. Let Tanjani go first, and I'll let you go right after her. One, we receive an electronic warrant list because it includes ACHs, it includes wires, and in addition to that, credit card charges. I stated that the fifth third card that was issued by fifth third only was either canceled or suspended by whoever had administrative access. I will repeat that again. You can go and watch the video again. I did not say anything about Amex. Those are two different issuers. Please be clear about that. So if you still have a statement that is referencing that, you have statements that you receive every month, financials, since September. I also provided them to the judge in the case, so I am not lying, and you can check your email. And then we, yeah, yeah we did. thank you. Okay, go, go ahead, go ahead. Though. One day you say we're not giving you financials, then you come in and tell us what this deficit so-called is. So if you're not getting financials, how do you know what the deficit is? Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay, go ahead, go ahead, like, hold on, go, go ahead, let's. Um, Madam Trustee, um, it's unfortunate that you said that, that we were being prepped. It's unfortunate oh, that we are still here because of something you guys could have got waiting for this meeting. But I get it. I get it. It's, po it's politics. It's election time. Yep. But when it comes down to the police department, nobody up here has been prepped. These are things that are going on that you guys also have control over. But guess what? You get up here and you say, guess what? We don't get this. We don't get that. Or they're being prepped. Well, I'm nobody's robot. But the bottom line to the whole thing is, is one thing you'll see me out there is on the street. You want to see what I do? Strap on a vest. I'll put you in a squad with me. And you can see exactly what the Dalton Police Department does because we do a doggone good job. So don't you ever say that I was prepped. Mm. May I be recognized? Okay, hold, hold on one second. Go ahead, uh, Keith. I'm going to FOIA request and I'll be sending it to uh, Tammy Brown. Uh, so I just expect to get the FOIA back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. 
Okay, um, just a couple of things. This is sad that we have to do this. Um, Tanjanique Miller just said that we got an American Express credit card, but of course we do not have the statements and it's not in our packet. So if you can please provide, could you please provide the American Express uh, statement that you want us to do, to approve? I want you to approve because last time since you keep seeing back and forth what we're not doing, if you can if you can just provide the information. We sat in the meeting in January. You said you had an email. I have requested the email. I have not received the email. Then the mayor sits here and say for a whole year, Jason and the clerk uh, jacked the bank account. They went in the bank and they took her off. There was a res uh, ordinance that was produced. They used that ordinance. But once again, I had to provide and go back with information that came directly from the bank. And the guy's name is Nathan Colvin that stated that Tangenique Miller, Keith Freeman, and Janice Johnson was on the bank account and can see the information from Fifth Third Direct. Then uh, y'all have Lacey get up here and say that uh, the clerk and Jason House was on the bank account and that's how the mishap of the repo cards. This is about the bull crap stuff that y'all see here go through because Janice Johnson is the one that issued the check. Y'all so big on throwing each other under the bus, y'all don't even know what y'all be saying. Janice is the one that issued. So Janice, you're telling me because somebody switched names on there, they stopped the ACH, they didn't stop the ACH on the Tahoe's, they didn't stop the ACH on those electric bikes, they didn't stop the a ACH on anything else that been provided. They didn't stop the ACH or credit card on the $17,000 worth of skates. They didn't stop the ACH or debit card for anything else. So you get here and sit here and say these things and you don't have a clue on what you're talking about. Not but then we got to go downstairs and probably vote up $40,000 for a lawsuit that you can curb. You don't do that to us. It's not fair. It's not fair at all. And we should not have to come here and keep sitting listening to this quote. Then uh, Tangerine just said the $19,000 that y'all about to approve is on the warrant list. Of course, that bill is from August. Who the hell want to see Tiffany Pitcher all around town? 122 banners. Ain't nobody going to approve that. And Trusty Brown, please tell them what those banners say. It ain't even about her picture. Please read off what the banners say. Now, no, Trusty Brown is not going to read off what they say. No, 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 no Trusty Brown, I'll see y'all in another month. Trusty Brown, tell no, me that you need to make. I, get, I have five. All right, we're moving on, guys. We're going to move on. Let, let's continue no. with our board meeting. Right. She, 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 she don't want the people to know she want to pay $20,000 for that. You first black female. You can do about it. Thank you Trusty Brown. 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 Thank you Trusty um, a minute ago or a second ago, something was said, go hard or go home. Mm -hmm. Trust me, guess what? It's not about that. It's about the services for the people of Dalton. Mm -hmm. So when you say that and you get your laughs, I get it. But let me tell you something. When you call for a squad car, if you call for one, you want that car to show up. But if they if they don't have the funding to do it, or if you're taking something from, the, from them, what do you expect them to do? Now, you can we can go back and forth. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here for the people. So I took that personally when you said that. What you need to do is take care of the people, mm -hmm. not your personal business, mm -hmm. not the fact that you don't like the mayor. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. It ain't about the mayor because she's about the people. Mm -hmm. I'm here. I'm about the people. I could have walked away a long time ago. Let me finish. Let me finish. I'm out here at 2, 3 in the morning when I don't have to be. Mm -hmm. My guys are working hard when they don't have to. They can go somewhere else. They choose to stay here. So don't say go hard and go home. What I need you to do is just vote for what we need. Can I respond? You sure? I can. mean, since you made a statement, can I respond? Sure. Um, I said go hard or go home because, of course, everybody was prepped to say whatever they had to say today. But let me speak to say this. When we talk about what we're not doing, trustees don't walk around with video cameras and uh, drones showing every move they make. They don't have the resources that somebody else have on the taxpayer's dime to show everything they're doing. These people sit up here talking about we ain't did nothing when all they're doing is listening to what somebody told them. For somebody to sit here and say the resources that we're taking away, for one, we have exceeded and over exceeded the budget that was initially put in. And so when people, we're getting emails talking about the cars being repossessed and then somebody sitting here talking about that they know the money is there, I have a problem with that. Then when you bring the issue to... I, and everybody knows that police is very valuable. But when you're saying you're here at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, you're here because you understaff. You're understaffed because don't nobody want to work in Dalton. So when we talk about, yes, the police, they are doing their job. When I called you, you came immediately. So I've never said that. But at the same time, when something is happening, y'all have to stop saying it's politics. It's not politics. This is reality. Have you looked at the bank account lately? Do you know how much money is in there? Because I don't understand why a resident is coming telling us that we owe her $500 from five months ago. So have you looked in the bank account? 
So let me say this. Let me let me say this, and then I'm gonna leave it alone because we can go back and forth. We don't have no, to. No, let me finish, trustee. We don't. Okay. Because when you say that, guess what? Because you said we're understaffed. We're understaffed because guess what? We're not at comparable salaries for a police officer coming here. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're un I let you talk. We're understaffed because every time you get up here, you, trustee House, trustee Brown, trustee Norwood, get up here and say no to something to be said yes. Okay, you talk about that. Guess what? The bank account, but the money that goes into the bank account or could go to the bank account, you you vote down. So don't don't tell me don't tell me that the money ain't there. I'm telling you what my guys are doing. Okay, they are risking their lives for something that can be settled right here in this room. Okay, that's all I'm saying to you. That's fine. So when you say that and you get on TV and you say what you say, hmm. don't do that. And anything don't, I said, I will repeat. Let them finish. Don't do that. You know okay. why? Because it not only hampers the investigation, it yep. puts my guys at yep. risk. Okay. Yep. Facts. Okay. So the only thing I'm saying to you is if you want to make a difference, don't make it personal because you're making it personal against the mayor. This is not personal. Let me, let me finish because you just talked about all the TV stuff. Mm -hmm. Guess what? She's not doing anything that hasn't been done. We don't talk about the other communities to where guess what? They have multiple shootings. Kind of like the same shooting that just happened up at AutoZone. Happened in Richmond Park, but mm -hmm. you never heard of it yep. because you're always attacking the mayor. Yep. So don't tell me it's right. not personal because it is. Because if it wasn't personal, you would support what's going on. And if I offend you, please forgive me. But let's talk real. Vote I'm, for what is right, not for what you want. Yep. I'm not offended at all. And thank you so much. Good job. Good job. All right. Mayor, can I comment? I need to be recognized. All right, go ahead. Let me first start off by saying, Mayor, that's the issue that we have. You, you say out your mouth, oh, you don't say what you said. It's not your job to tell me what to say. 20, 22,000 residents, when they voted, they gave me permission to say whatever I decide to say in this seat. And that's what you do not understand. You sit up here with these smoke and mirrors. This is not a dictatorship. You're not Putin. And this is not Russia. This is a democracy. That's why we are here. You say, oh, me and my people in the back, we do this. We do that. They don't do anything. They don't do anything. <laughs> First off, our job is legislation because I know someone asked about our job. Our job, could you let me finish uh, more? Because I'm, I'm, right now is not the time. Let me finish. So as the legislative branch, our job is to oversee the finances and to create ordinances. That's our job. So first, when you all sit up here and say, oh, well, uh, you all voted no for this, you all voted no for that, that's our job. That is what the people elected us to sit up here and do, to monitor the finances, because they, they know, the government know that there may be people like you who sit up here and just spend all willy-nilly without the board's discretion. That's why we put ordinances in place. You say, oh, well, uh, what about the money? What about the money? Our job is to oversee the finances, but yet I have an email here where Trustee House is asking, hey, guys, we haven't received a financial report since September. Hey, guys, we haven't received credit card statements, so we don't know what's been spent since June of 2023. This is almost a whole nother year. Payroll reports. We haven't received the pay more roll report in, since December. So when we talk about what we're doing, this is what we are here to do. At the end of the day, when they say, oh, well, put this back in the budget, put that back in the budget. First off, they don't even follow the budget because if they did, we wouldn't be seven million dollars in debt if they did. If we did, we would have the mayor spending an overtime of a whole entire million dollars. We're talking about the police. We're not saying the police is not doing a good job. What we're saying is you're assigning all of them to be with you when they should be out here protecting the residents so we can all feel safe. So you sit here and say, oh, well, we did receive, give them the paperwork. Why would we be in court demanding to receive paperwork in which we received? That's the thing. When they she sit here, she say, oh, they're lying. They're lying. So what do we do? We went on YouTube and provided receipts. People love the receipts so much because now they can see who was lying and who was telling the truth. But what did our administration do at that point? Cut off access. So now we can't see credit card statements. We don't know what's being spent. We talk about what's scary. You know what's scary to me as a trustee who had the people elect me to do this job? What's scary is not how much is in our bank account. That's scary. Not knowing what position our, our our deficit is in. When we last checked, it was a $7 million deficit in September. So let's talk about facts. You sit up here and you demean us all day like you have children up here, and which you do not. Do your job. Be a great leader. Talk to your board. You all say, oh, well, they want to prove this. They don't know what's going on. How about it's your job to be a good leader and tell us? That's your job. We shouldn't have to call you every meeting. Call my phone. Call my phone. How about you be a good leader? Bring our peace to the forefront. So not just us, but the residents and everybody else in America know how the money is being spent. But residents, if she loves you so much, why won't she present the RFPs before the board? Because that's all we're asking for. We're saying, hey, spend the money, get the services, but let's get the best bang for our services. Why are we paying $10,000 for a tree that costs $1,000? But she say kickbacks. Who's receiving the real kickbacks? And that's why we are asking for receipts. Show us the information. 
Give us the facts. You sit up here, you talk about what we're doing, what we're not doing. Just do your job. Don't worry about my job. My job is to sit up here and do what the residents elected me to do. The resident emailed us and say, oh, well, uh, Public Works is being informed by the mayor to tell us that we haven't paid the light company so uh, residents can't have lights on their block. But then she also stated that, oh, she drive down Sibley and she see that the whole Sibley is lit up, lit up in Christmas ornaments. So we don't have the money to fix these residents' lights. Their, their safety is not a priority. What's the priority? The lights. So we can look as if the job is being done in Dalton. But when deep down inside, we're overpaying for services, all of the services. We're in a deficit. So okay, this trustee, is, we got to reel it in. Not, I'm, I'm we got to reel it in. in. So like I stated, have her talk the facts while she's up here with these smoke and mirrors. How about show you the information? Why she can't put it on the website? The, why you all can't see it? She sits up here and say every time, oh, it, we're not in a deficit. Prove it to us. They say, oh, you all, we, you all cut off the credit cards. Trustee Belcher said, can you show us where we cut off the credit cards? We have our finance director say, oh, yeah, um, I have it. Can we get, have it sent to us? Why don't we have this information? Why are we asking for information that's supposed to be provided? So, again, I'm going to say one last time, this is our job. And until my seat is up next year, whether win or lose, that is what I'm going to do. So if I see charges being overcharged for, no, I'm not going to vote on it. So tell your mayor to bring the RFPs in front of the board and let's do this like a regular government should and say, hey, John wants to pay this much. This person wants this much. What should we do, board? That's what you call inclusiveness, working together. But yet she wants to do everything alone and then sit up here and say they're not doing anything. And at the end of the day, we're supposed to be a team. Thank you. All right. Uh, real quick. Ron, you back there? Just stand up for me real quick. Stand up for me. This is, is this vote for uh, Trustee Hamilton. Thank you. Thanks, Clerk. I appreciate it. <laughs> Aye. Trustee Norwood? Aye. Trustee Stan Brown? No. Trustee Tammy Brown? Aye. Trustee House? Aye. Trustee Holmes? No. Trustee Belcher? Aye. Motion passed. All right. Here we go. Um. Also, too, y'all know I'm the receipts lady, right? I always got paper. Paper trail for all of them. They were saying that they credit card that they that we line. Here's the proof right here. An email stating that they canceled the doggone credit card well, send from it to the us bank. So we can I'm see it. give it to all y'all, including the public. But my point to y'all is stop believing the lies. They lie so much up here. It don't make no sense. Like I said, every night I got to prove my love. Every night I got to show y'all what it is. It's sad. They lie because they can't beat me. I keep telling you, they trying to run a campaign on lies. Ain't going to get you nowhere. Nowhere. Next on the agenda is new business. Is there a motion to terminate uh, contract with Otison, Stirk, Murphy, Frazier, and McGrath, LTD as legislative counsel? Is there a motion? Motion. Is there a second? Second. It's been motion and second. Any discussion? This, yes. Can I be recognized? Go ahead. Okay. For one, I don't understand how it's new business and you keep putting it on the um, agenda every period. So I'm going to ask the attorney and refer to the attorney. At what point, if it keeps voting down, is there something that says it cannot go? No, nope, I'm going to put it up on the agenda I, every board. Okay. Week. I asked the attorney. I, just I asked the attorney. And I just asked. Okay. So then my next thing is, because she sit here and tell these lies to say that we are paying an attorney. She has not paid the attorney. She wants con total control. So she thinks that she's the only person that can have an attorney. And then we have no legal representation that's for the board. If you look at the budget for anybody that was here during the time when they had a fictitious town hall meeting, which if that's what they call it, it says $455,000 was spent in actuals for legal counsel. 432000 of that went to Delgado. So when people sit here and they sit there and talk about what they got receipts for, what they don't have receipts for, she has not paid Bert Otterson. So as long as Bert Otterson, McGrath, or anybody else want to give us free legal advice at this point, pending payment, we're going to accept it. So you can put it on there every meeting until one of us is absent, two, three, four of us is absent, but you're not going to sit here and keep trying to control the situation where your attorney, because he made it perfectly clear, he worked for you, he don't work for us. We didn't hire him as the uh, corporate counsel. We hired Delgado Firm as the prosecuting counsel. So technically, we don't even have corporate counsel. But for you to sit here and keep lying, saying that we are paying somebody that you know has no check has been cut, you need to stop. It's ridiculous. And you sit here and talk about, I did this, I did that, they lied, they lied. She sat here and just pulled up a piece of paper. If you got something that said that it canceled it, and I'm sure all of y'all, including you, was on the email, we requested it, why wouldn't you give it to us? But you say we sit here and wait till we get here to ask the question. If she had something, she should have sent it to us. Then we wouldn't even have the discussion. But for you to sit here and keep sitting, lying, talking about somebody, first, we can go back, pull the meetings up because she's good for pulling them up. First, she said we paid them $600,000. Then we paid them almost a million dollars. But if you look at the actuals, only $455,000 been spent in legal costs, and most of it went to Delgado. So who lying? All right, you finished? All right, go ahead, Tangerine. 
um, Odison was not budgeted for in the budget. Thank you. Legal counsel did oh, not have no description of who it order. is. Let her so Odison was. You, 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 you got to be quiet. You got to be quiet. him on what page was Odison budgeted for. I still have legal expense. Trustee, let her finish. You see how we be quiet and let you do your little rant? Be quiet. Let her talk. She got the floor. I it's am not her justice. Time. You're not telling it's me. It's her time. Right. You have to be quiet. <laughs> no, I am not. Right, go ahead. Go ahead, um, Tangerine. I just wanted to make it clear that was not budgeted for. Legal yep. expenses. Oh my God. That's your and problem. That's your for. problem. Be quiet. It was not amended and added. It was not budgeted for. And it is not included this year either. Legal expenses okay. does Thank not show you. trustee. Specific. You cannot over talk expenses. her. Let her get her point out like you just did your rent. So you have to be quiet to hear her side. Like we was quiet to hear your side. Stop. Point of order. Follow Robert rules of order, please. <laughs> go ahead. Go really? ahead, Tangerine. was not cut. That does not mean the expenses were not incurred and you're putting a village of Dalton on the line to pay those expenses. Thank you. Thank you, so, Ms. Miller. So as we go on um, and we talk about this and we go back and forth, as you can see, people are so out of order, so disrespectful. You got to give respect in order to get it. If we talk and we be quiet, you got to give us the same courtesy. Ain't nobody interrupt you, whether you was lying or not. We shut up and we listen to your lie. Now you be quiet and let the finance director respond to you, like how we just did with you. As it relates to y'all attorney, y'all attorney don't do nothing. So if you're saying free help, give that back. Because if it's free, it shouldn't be for you. Because he ain't winning no cases for you. So why would you even have a person like that around if they causing the, the village, the taxpayer money? Also, <laughs> y'all walked out of that last board meeting, right? Y'all to pay no bills. Reminding you that we still got public works, police, fire, all these expenses, the day-to-day -day operation, the light bills, the gas bill, all the things to run a business was still at state. But y'all walked out. Tire your month went by, right? That's what I'm talking about. Y'all don't care because who walks out on the people? I don't care whatever y'all want to bring up about fighting back in the day, operations, the light bills, the gas bill, all the things to run a business was still at state. But y'all walked out. Tire your month went by, right? That's what I'm talking about. Y'all don't care. Because who walks out on the people? I don't care whatever y'all want to bring up about fighting back in the day or whatever, but I never walked out on the people, but y'all did several times. Y'all walked out on the $33 million lawsuit. That's why we got the $33 million lawsuit right now. Y'all walked out again at the last board meeting. Y'all walked out on everything. Y'all got to sit here and sit in the fire. If you don't like it, so be it. But that's what discussion is for. We go back and forth, hopefully find a happy medium. If we do not, then guess what? Then them people are just don't get paid because y'all chose not to pay them for whatever reason that you thought you shouldn't pay them. And it's warranted. That's what I'm tired of. Y'all should pay people after they have done the work. When there are storms in our community, we had a storm, right? What was y'all faces? I ain't seen not one of y'all on the block. I ain't seen not one of y'all helping nobody. Not one. Trees was on cars. Trees was on houses. And guess what? The day before, y'all chose not to pay them vendors. But every single vendor came out and took care of the people. Every one of them. That's because of what? You network, relationships. They didn't want to leave the people high and dry. So they said, you know what, Mayor, we got you. We're going to come out and we're going to make sure the people are taken care of. That's what I do as a leader. You guys just talk and talk about nothing and ain't producing nothing. And that's my problem. Y'all talk, but ain't putting in no action. Ain't no work. At least my work speaks for itself. No matter what y'all want to put up against me, go lie to people, bring media here. Who tears down a town? Like, think about that for a minute. Y'all y'all black. Black. Look how we fight. I've and this is just for the record, and I'll keep this as. It's the hypocrisy for me. Again, it's, it's, it's. as trustee, she sat in his very seat. And when she felt the mayor was not was withholding information that she was entitled to, she did the she exact did the same thing, thing, which is get their own special she counsel. So when we everything. have this discussion and it's like this is some foreign that just these these set of trustees decided to do, just for the record, it is not. This is what people have to do when they have a leadership that is not transparent. Thank you. Trust it, you ain't getting the flow no more. You repeat the same thing every time. Okay. You need just to start repeating the, the same just thing. Just for the record, I'm just letting just you know. We done with that. Move just on. Call the road, clerk. Call the road. Man, man, could I? Drunk as fuck. Yeah. Yeah, slide the city. Oh, my name is Motoni, slide the city. Slide the city. Imagine if my small business blew up overnight and I woke up to some sales. Boost this video so people who like my products can find me. Algorithm. Where you at, bitch? Because I'm tired of posting viral content and getting two and a half likes. We finna fight home.